Simon with VaticanCatholic.com Here to show a heretic how he's wrong I'll tell you so long, Taylor And try to stay calm As I stop you with this lyrical atom bomb You live for quite some time as an open Anglican All I can say now is that Not much has changed since then You're still a heretic And you always will be Until you learn to see that the seed is empty You have a lot of fans And they call you, quote, cool All you care about status It's like we're living in high school Many souls you'd be fool Because you're Satan's tool How could anyone trust such a bloviating fool? You traded the truth for money and glory. You hop online and tell your fans a story about a pope you can't resist and an erring magisterium. These things only exist inside your mental delirium. The church you're a part of is the end times counter church. Anyone can see it with a modicum of research. You sit there perched in search of an explanation for how you can give your anti-pope approbation. You're completely inconsistent. Your position is heretical. Somehow you missed it, but you're completely hypocritical. You claim your pope is an anti-Catholic heretic, and yet you still profess full communion with him. That was a good roast, Peter, or should I call you Robert? Playing dress up, wearing black like a Halloween robber. But you got good meter, and your lyrics aren't bad, but I think it's time you heard from a bona fide trad. Now don't mess with me, cause I'm the real team Marsh. I'll lay it out straight, though it might sound a little harsh. You step up to me, and you know we'll have to fight. Only need one T to be explosive as dynamite. Let's start with your mixed up ecclesiology. Forgive me if I'm wrong, but it definitely seems to me this talk of a 60 year Petron vacancy would be a lot more convincing with any sort of decree. Admit, I don't like Pope Francis, although he's not an anti pope until the church says so. It's in the bishop's hands, there's things I can demand, but at the end of the day, I'm just a dad with a webcam. For communion with Francis, you call me a hypocrite, but then you go and call Pius XII a heretic. Your whole theology is a simple counterfeit, plus you have the stature of a lispy little Jesuit. Also, while I'm at it, here's a couple tips. At least have good reasons for ecclesial disbandment. I get into your commentary on the apocalypse, but I think a full analysis would break the fifth commandment. Your time is running out, and your 